Hello YouTube, today I am going to review an Android Lollipop 5.0.1 based ROM that is uh, the Resurrection Remix ROM for your Samsung Galaxy S3. So you go to the settings, about phone, you can find this is a Resurrection ROM 5.0.1 and then which is based on Android 5.0.1 and this is the first 5.0.1 ROM for Galaxy S3. So this works on uh, Galaxy S3 i9300. So if you look at the main features, this is as you can see a stylish, it is based on Android Lollipop so you can find the stylish uh, status bar, notification bar here with all these settings and uh, Wi-Fi is working fine and then even the mobile data is working fine, all the other options are here and then uh, brightness control here and then this nice animation if you swipe one it will only open this this much and if you swipe again you will get that quick pull down option if you swipe with two fingers also get that if you tap on the battery icon you will get this battery details and then there is a battery saver which is introduced in lollipop to so save the battery and then uh, here if you press here you will go to the user mode you can change the users and then if you go to the settings menu before that if you look at the Tap the, the menu option, it will open the wallpaper section. You can change all the wallpaper options from here. You can protect, and uh, the, these settings you usually see in uh, Resurrection Raw. So, this is the wallpaper section, and then our home screen settings here, drawer setting, app settings. And then, if you go to the widget section, you'll find all the widgets here. And then, if you go to the settings menu, these are the regular settings used to find in almost all the ROMs. And then this is the resurrection dedicated settings. First one interface, you can change the and change and customize the status bar options. Right now, many of these settings are not working because they are start, only started working from the start work of this ROM. So I'm looking forward to the future releases. Here is the button options as well. You can play with around. And in the display section, these are the regular uh, lollipop options now. So sound settings and then storage. If you look at the, if you use the volume up and down options, you'll get all this priority, non, none, and then no interruption options from here. This is Indonesian lollipop itself. And then apps, battery, storage, system profiles, location, security, privacy, and all the other things. And then language and input. If you got the language, you'll see all this language, supported languages here. You can check whether your language is here. Okay. So if you got the current setting, first time when you try to access the keyboard, it won't work. So you have to come here and click on this one, show input method, then it will start showing the keyboard. So it's using the latest Lollipop keyboard, which is good. Then uh, backup and restore, date, accessibility, printing, other options are here, even uh, developer options are here. Just go and check it out. And then, uh, uh, first of all, the stock camera won't work, so you have to go and download any other camera like Nexus camera from the Play Store, and then it will work fine. And you, this is the widget options here and then uh, you go to the dialer and this is the Android Lollipop dialer I don't know some problem with the dialer I think anyway the call is going on so I'm hanging up you can find the notifications here like this if you go to the go and check the lock screen you will kind get this lock screen like this this is nice you see all the notification here and you can see all the functions here if you want to screen lock like you can do that and then if you want to directly go to the dialer you just swipe it like that and then if you want to directly open the camera option you can swipe from here but the camera is not working fine so you don't try that and besides that here is uh, audio effects which will enhance the audio features and then it will work with speak, speaker headset speak USB all the same functions you can change the 
audio enhancements and then some other options are here and uh, browser is normal android browser and uh, calculator calendar clock everything comes with lollipop file manager is there with and then messaging if you got the messaging app not, not, not much changes that is the android messaging app that's it normal features and all and then uh, music here is a different music player it looks good you can change the tracks and uh, this player is looking good and then uh, other option other apps apps are here and here is the group Google Play Store which is flash of using G apps so you can download all the apps from the Google Play Store. Overall this is a just basic or uh, just early build of the resurrection ROM so I'm eagerly waiting for the next releases. And if you want to know how to install this ROM there is going to be link in the video description to show you that just go and check it out. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more.